I have no clue why I just now wanted to film, but welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I just got some toilet paper, some paper towels, all that stuff from Target. I just did a little mobile order pickup because um, we needed like olive oil, we needed milk and creamer, all the things for coffee and stuff, and so it's like really early. And I logged on to work super quick and then just came and did a drive up. So I'm already on my way home. Um, I just needed my stuff for coffee and I personally didn't want to have to go to like Starbucks or anything. Because Trevor and I actually went there yesterday because we didn't have milk. Because when I did my mobile order they were out of the flavor that I get. So I had to get vanilla. Hi guys. So um, the first thing, so of course it's Tuesday and... Um, it's almost four o'clock, which means I pretty much have to start kind of buckling up and like closing out things for work and getting ready for practice. So I have to like close my work mode and then open my practice mode. Um, so while I do that, I'm just going to drink a um, Peak Detox, I don't know, I said that weird, <laughs> Detox Fountain Beauty Electrolyte. Um, this is what it looks like. They're just like these little pouches and you put them in water and they're just help with electrolytes. I try to drink one every um, day before practice. Doesn't always happen because things just happen. So um, I'm just gonna pour one into a cup and show you guys what that looks like. Quickly, um, I'm just gonna use this Nespresso cup. Um, it's just clear so you guys can see the color. Um, so it is game week and um, which means we have two practices, um, three hours each, so six hours total of practice, but that is practice with the entire team and coaches. I went to a sport of fitness yesterday and practiced for about an hour and a half with like five other girls. So obviously it's just like that's the amount of legit practice and then it all changes. Um, I also will probably practice on my own a little bit some other days and then today I also practiced for about 30 minutes on my own just going over all of the dances that we're doing this week um, plus all of our fillers, <clears throat> our touchdown secret sequence, stingers, everything, um, cheers, everything under the sun. I went over that. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up um, some water, stir it together and I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second. I just went ahead and like cleaned the whole kitchen um, because I made lunch and obviously there were dishes from that. I made um, air fried zucchini, squash, potatoes, and um, broccoli and then I made some vegetarian chicken. So now I'm drinking my electrolyte water. It's really good. It's very subtle like berry flavor and it doesn't it feels like healthy and good it doesn't taste like Pedialyte or anything like that but I do want to say I did not work out today normally I do work out on Tuesdays but I know that today we're going to be doing a lot at practice and um it's just going to be a lot in general so um I did not work out I tried to balance that the week of Games, so it's very important to work out the week of games to get your stamina up and things like that but it's also really important that you don't overdo it the week of games because we already have two really really hard practices on game week so it's important that you don't do too many workouts on top of that so I'm just gonna do a workout my plan I already did one yesterday which is, was Monday my plan is to do one Thursday Friday and be good tomorrow. I don't have time because I just have like a million and one things going on. So Yeah, so don't overdo it do as many workouts as you can but like again don't over overdo it I never work out the day before game day and then of course never on game day um, the only time you would have The only games you would have time to work out day of game day would be night games But this game is a one o'clock. So we're not gonna have time. We're playing the um, Atlanta Falcons and it's a one o'clock game and it's supposed to be actually really hot today the high is like 40 but of course the high on Sunday is 80 so we're literally the temperatures of Razin um, I already got my dress in for the game yesterday I don't always wear a new dress but happened to order a dress and I was not gonna wear it because it's gonna be too cold but now it's gonna be the perfect temperature 
makeup. So I'm going to sit here, finish that, and then we're going to go get ready. And I'll show you guys kind of what I do. Hair is going to be washed today because um, that'll prep me for washing it Friday so that it's clean on Friday, but not too clean, not too dirty for the game Sunday. It's a whole situation. a white uniform for um, it. We might get it like doctored up with some stuff for the Crucial Catch game because that's the game we have. So we had to bring sticky notes with our names on them on the hangers, but I just had to do this like paper for my notebook because I don't have sticky notes. So I'm going to have that ready when I bring that down. Um, and then I did want to say that I did just shower and rinse my body and all that um, because I practiced um, all the routines in my living room, which gets you pretty hot. So I went ahead and like rinsed my body and did all that. So I just wanted to say that. But yeah, once I finish this, I'm going to fill up my Stanley cup and drink water while I get ready. Lighting is not very good, but I do want to say, um, before I, like, did the dishes, like, right after I showered, I put more dry shampoo in to let it, <laughs> look at my hair right now, to let it sit. This is the dry shampoo I use. Um, so now I'm going to brush through my hair. Tonight, I think I already said this, but tonight is a washing the hair night. Um, close the door Trevor works back here but he had a call so he um, went downstairs because he knew I had to start getting ready but um, I got inspired to do one of these videos even though I kind of always do these videos but um, a Rockette Radio City Rockette did one of these and I really enjoyed it like she went into depth and like started and like talked about her products and I really enjoyed that, so I kind of want to do that. I'm going to do light curls because I don't really want to, like, put too much heat on my hair considering, like, I'm washing it tonight. So I'm just going to, like, hold it on there for a sec and just, like, let it go. Like, it doesn't need to be super duper curly because I'm washing it tonight and I don't feel like that's good for me. So we're just going to do it, like, super quick and then I'll get back. With you guys, I actually already laid out my practice outfit. I like to do that before I get ready so that I know that it's there. I know that I have it. Um, so if I'm rushing at the end of getting ready that I have my outfit. And then, like, if sometimes we have to bring, like, boots. Sometimes we have to bring specific uniforms or different palms than normal. My practice palms stay in my car in the bag. Um... But I laid out my practice uniform. Um, we have different colored sports bras for different days. And then I laid out my uniform that we have to take. It's the white one from the whiteout game. I vlogged that. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. Um, and then I, we have to bring layers because we're going to be outside. And it's going to be like 38 degrees when we're outside. Okay, so um, we're done. That was like really quick and now we're just gonna spray the hair literally by the end of practice I'll probably be wearing a hat so um, I'll show you my hat it's cute I haven't worn it yet um I was planning on wearing it to an away game and then I forgot that we had these cold like I was gonna save it for an away game I forgot we had these cold practices one heck of a black primer the best ever so that's what I start with my skin is so dry right now I need a good like thick if anybody has any recommendations I need like a good thick moisturizer but that's not gonna like make my face gross and like to actually like like blends into your skin it doesn't just sit there but I don't know okay foundation again you guys this is different for practice versus every day versus a game but it cosmetic cc cream you guys know i love it um this is i usually use shade i don't even know what shade this is like medium or something um when i'm tan but i'm like losing my look at this it's embarrassing so i'm just gonna use the shade um like it's the this is 
the mini one because I like only use this when I'm pale and I'm not pale that often. Um, it's just the lightest one they have, literally the lightest a cosmetic CC cream. So that's my foundation for game day um, and practice. So this is the lightest shade though. Okay, bye. The foundation is on. Um, concealer is different from game day. So I will show you guys what I use on game day, but this is the Maybelline. Um, what even is this actually? The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I believe. Yeah, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is 100% um, a dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer. I've used the NARS Creamy Concealer. Um, I used a, I think I went through two of them. And I love them. It's just, this one is literally the same thing. And so it's like, why spend $30 on a concealer when I can get this one for like seven bucks and like I'll sometimes get it from Walgreens because Walgreens will have buy one get one 50% off um on like concealer and stuff so okay and then I go in and I do powder so I just use the number seven powder and translucent under eyes and all over the okay bronzer just the physician's formula in the color 6676. I have literally been using this for so long. Um, I used to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and it was a good bronzer, but this blends so much better, and it's so much cheaper. Like, I kind of went away from a few products because of how expensive they were blush it depends on the day today i'm just gonna use physician's formula and vintage rouge later will be later but i just use my mini bronzer from physician's formula um i honestly don't know what color this is i don't know why i choose to use the mini one over the other one because they're literally the same thing um i just feel like i'm using an actual eyeshadow or maybelline color tattoo and the color socialite it's like a um rose gold so this all over the lid um so i can put some like sparkly shadow on it then for practice i just use random shades in my naked three palette so i think i'm just gonna do public on the like inner portion with my fingers and then stolen on the outer okay and then i just use the essence waterproof liquid liner if you've been watching for a little bit you know that the makeup revolutions in ash brown this like eyebrow gel is my absolute favorite eyebrow gel ever so that's all i do for my brows um i take it and i don't know if you guys will be able to see it because i'm literally looking in a mirror right now um and i just go like this so, that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to use highlighter. This is the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. And I just use my fingers again. I'm just going to highlight my cheeks, nose, lip, brow And mascara. I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. Right before that, I'm just going to take my Makeup Revolutions Matte Fix spray and just spray I don't know why I just decided that I needed 20 pounds okay makeup is done we still have to do lipstick and stuff but these um Dollar Tree eyelashes are killer like amazing I just put on my practice outfit shorts tights Tuesday bra I'm gonna do deodorant because I can already smell myself, which is kind of nasty. And then stud, rhinestone stud earrings, just from Target. Um, I wear smaller, like cuter, prettier ones um, for games, but for practice, I just use these like big ones. I don't know. Don't mind my like line of tan. That's what happens when you tan. You don't fix it and 
you wash your hands, you know. Okay, and then this is the hat that I was telling you guys I'm gonna bring. It just says the Super Bowl, Super Bowl on it. Bought it in LA when I was there for the Super Bowl. And then white uniform, of course, because we have to pack that. I'm gonna put on some like comfy, so I'm literally freezing right now, and then we'll figure out. Actually, I'm gonna brush my teeth, and let's do that. Socks, of course, because I do black ankle socks because we wear I wear my like little black jimmers. Just put on sweatpants and now I'm just gonna put on um probably just this long sleeve bangles shirt. I have um a coat and what else packed? Um I have a coat and a like fleece lined shirt packed. So I'm gonna put this Bengals long sleeve on. And my APLs are what I wear to every practice. I put on a different Bengals shirt because this one I feel like I can layer well. Um, so my coat is in my car. Um, but I think I'm gonna put on, I have like this navy blue free people coat that I think I'm gonna put on for now okay we're gonna brush our hair red is on i'm now gonna go spray my hair um a little more with my dove hairspray and then put on some mascara to blend my lashes okay so i'm packing some energy honey zingers love those i'm packing one of my fake bars i just got a new box Day. I'm gonna pack one of these because I feel like I always like need a little snack at practice. And then keys, of course, uniform with my name on it. Um, water. I just added some more water to it. And then I just put on my Hit the Slopes Free People jacket in the navy color. And again, I still have a one or a cloud puff from Lululemon outside. I have a um, fleece line top. I have hand warmers, gloves, and other joggers. So I have like a lot of different layers outside. So we should be good. It is very cold though, especially when you're not used to um, it being this cold out. Like this is probably the coldest day we've had in a long or honestly this year or this fall season it's 5 34 I, I try to leave my house by 5 30 practices at 6 30 um but that's me like giving myself so much time that like if i leave late it's okay um i just like to be prepared and my palms should be in here but we're gonna make sure because that's just important i also have another sweatshirt in here which, uh, I'm spilling water. I put all of my layers in the bag somewhere with my coat. My coat, I will just have to carry. I feel like this is how practices were last year. Like, you just brought enough layers, um, and, like, you brought everything you could, like, think of. And then when you leave, you're, like, leaving with a million things in your hands. But that's just how it goes. We go in the gate. Um, somebody in front of me, I literally can't even tell who's in that car, but they put the code in, so I didn't have to. And then now we drive in. We drive in. My gosh, people are already here. They're just really ahead of the game. My uniform, I put my coat on, and now we're walking in. I don't know, it's blurry, whatever, but here we go. I thought I would just, you know, guys look at me <laughs> um come back and tell you guys so we um did we tried out for our spot and then we went outside and guys it was raining like freezing rain it was super light like it wasn't like we were soaked but freezing rain um pouring on us it felt very interesting and then um so that was fun you know but we had, yeah, we had freezing rain and it was a situation. Um, 
and it was cold, but we just kind of like marked spots, did what we needed to do. We literally were so bundled up. And then um, Aya's cow, which is so exciting for Aya. She was on the team with me um, last year. She was a rookie with me. And yeah, then we're leaving. Then we left. Um, it was a three hour practice, so it was a good practice. Um, but I'll see you guys probably Thursday for on practice game or day. So it's yeah. actually Wednesday and um, taking my lunch break to go get a bra. We normally wear the same black bra for every game. Um, it's just from Victoria's Secret, but we need a different one this week for our crucial catch top. We don't know what the top looks like yet, but we were told what type of bra to get. So I'm going to go to Target. I have some returns and then I also I'm going to try to get this top. So or this bra for the top. So I'm just wearing my little free people jacket, black, all yours, long sleeve with some Lululemon Align joggers in Cassis and then Hocus. So here we go and I'll show you guys what I end up getting or if I end up getting something. I found some on line and it says they have like limited stock or in stock on in, at my store so yep here we go okay so i was there for an hour you guys literally an hour i was gonna go to my parents house to get this um jacket that i have to take for one of my dancers tonight um i'm gonna get that later i'm gonna get it on the way to the school because the bra saga took an hour because target's bras are so Hor like horribly placed they're like everywhere you don't even know what bras what I ended up I did end up finding two bras that um funny enough those were the two bras that said limited stock and then the one that said in stock I could not find said so I would I be going to cycle bar three times this week so this is my second out of three I'm gonna go tomorrow as well it is freezing out so i just have my stanley and everything my coat on because of how cold it is well not my coat but my little free people jacket sorry about that angle and i look tired because i am and we're just gonna go get this quick workout into fort work and then um hi kitty hi what are you doing there's cats everywhere in my backyard Hi, Katie. Left cycle bar. And now I'm like, it's really, what's the temperature out? It feels wonderful. 39. Feels great after a cycle ride. But I think I'm going to run to Duncan. I haven't had Duncan in a really long time. And, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, it's game week. I shouldn't. But you know what? I want it. So, I'm just going to get a, probably some sort of oat milk latte. I'm not joking. That was a maybe, maybe 60 second encounter. I ordered and got my drink within 60 seconds. Ordered, paid, and got my drink. Let's try it. I just got a brown sugar oat milk latte. And it's solid. We love, we love those days when you get a really good latte from Duncan. And now we're heading home. Like, literally the quickest thing in the entire world. Nobody was in line. And the second I pull up, she asks me what I want. The second I pull around, she's her scanner ready to scan my app and literally hands me my drink. Like, what in the heck? That was the quickest thing ever. I'm ready to go to practice. I still have to do my lip. And I just have, like, warm clothes packed. I have a coat and a bunch of stuff in my bag. Um, some friends and I, after practice, we're going to go get some tacos because it's, like, $2 taco week in Cincinnati. So we're gonna grab tacos after we do this a lot after practice i mean not a lot but like but something that we like to do is like grab food after especially on thursdays when like the weekend's almost here and yeah so i'm just in my practice uniform i just have my orange bra on that says bang gals um tuesday was the white one and um i get there early we practice i'm gonna put on my red lip in the car eat a bar i have my water packs everything i'm gonna leave my camera here and then if um i'll get like dinner clips on my phone so
Einstein would think the volcano that erupted thousands of years ago killing a perfectly preserved Hi guys, so now we are heading to get the spray tan. And at Mobile Glow, Cincy is doing our spray tans. Um, they have, they did our spray tans for the last home game and they've literally been so awesome. So they, this is like two out of three for, um, they've done two out of three games for the last, um, uh, Home game, like regular season games, because this will be our fifth home game, but um, third regular season, and they're amazing. And there's like three of them, I think, and well, at least three that have come. There might be more on their team, and they're so amazing. They come to us, spray us in our locker rooms, and they like get us all set up, and they make us feel super comfortable. And I just think they're amazing. And if you live in the area, I would highly recommend um, using them, like for wedding like wedding bridal party like events really anything um so they're seriously amazing okay so you guys know by the look of my face that i'm tan um honestly my camera is actually like picking up the light pretty well and i don't look that horrible look at me i have on a line joggers with my shirt literally tucked in because that's how i feel like i don't get like creases on my stomach with my spray tan yeah so um we're about to go get some food we're doing takeout and going to my parents and so i'll update you guys tomorrow update you guys so i woke up this morning and i try to keep my tan on for 24 hours i do want to let you know that um so last time i literally didn't even wash my face for 24 hours this time i washed my face because you have on foundation anyway and it's on there good enough um last time i also got my tan at like midnight this time we got our tans at like 5 p.m so it's definitely been different and like today i'll probably take my shower at five and then um i might like run some errands i think i'm gonna go to like home goods i'm gonna go to home goods target and michael's today but like some of them will be spread out so that's why but I just washed my face, but not my body, and then I washed my hands. Um, of course, because I just went to the bathroom. They say not to wash your hands for 24 hours either, but um, honestly, they tanned my like thumb, or like my pointer, my index finger and over really bad. Not bad, like they're great, but like it was like they're really tan compared to the rest of my fingers, so I really wanted to wash my hands. So, um... I will bring you guys along. I'm gonna like pack and stuff today. I haven't packed or made Aya's shirt yet. So I will do that after coffee and then I'm gonna run my errands. I have to get some things from Target for tonight or for tomorrow. So just gonna let y'all know. Okay, so if you've been watching my videos for a while, you understand how I pack. If not, here it is. So I actually decided to switch into a regular carry-on size suitcase because it has the four wheels. It stands up really well. Our Bengals ones don't do that too well. Um, so I took this tag off of my other suitcase and put it on this one so that I at least have some sort of like whatever. Okay, so we have our practice palms in this bag. And then I have my rainbow flip-flops for walking around the locker room practice sneakers that everybody has and then white boots um i have extra palm or not palms tights in here like package tights we always use a white towel to put our uniform in after the game um a bangles t-shirt and wide leg um aligned pants for after practice when we're just eating lunch in the locker room game day bra and then bra for our pink top we're doing it's the crucial catch game so it's the cancer game lots of extra tights boot socks practice shorts these are not on the list but i just packed them anyway then extra black socks and then a curling iron so that's what's in my suitcase and then in this bag up top i just have like lipstick and a uh, magic eraser for my boots down below I just have some energy bites and then a granola bar and then in here I just have like my favorite bangles bag with like all the things you might need like safety pins ibuprofen mints literally like my toothbrush um I don't even know earrings all that stuff and then I have all my hair products so I have deodorant and I have um Sol de Janeiro perfume brush and then I just have like heat protectant dry shampoo texture spray and hairspray because I'm curling my hair at the stadium tomorrow 
this is just this little bag that I love and I, this is just my belt bag that has um, my wallet in it which you need your ID then we have our garment bag which in here mine just has our practice outfit which is Lululemon leggings bra socks bling crop top and we wear our sneakers with this outfit so I always put it in here because it's super easy to get to and that's the first thing we change into and then in the actual hanging part we only had to pack the white skirt because we're wearing the white skirt with a pink top tomorrow and then always as a backup our orange top and our black skirt down there so that is everything then I always make a list of things that I still have to pack that I pack day of so I always make a list on my notes so that's a water my makeup because as you guys know I do my makeup in the morning she have to arrive with makeup on so as I'm doing my makeup I pack it in a bag my food I always heat it up the morning of my cow gift so um I need to write that letter and make that shirt for Aya today and then my ID it's always on my list because it just makes me nervous even though my ID is in my wallet that hangs on my keys so in order to drive to the stadium it's always there but that is all I'm packing I'll show you guys Aya's shirt I just do a cricket I don't know if you guys are new um this year I started making cow means cheerleader of the week which is not of the week it's of the game and um so there's one per home game and Aya is the cheerleader of the week this week um let me show a picture of Aya because she's so cute we have um it's on our pack list the picture of the cow that week and so I, uh, we're playing the Fal Atlanta Falcons. This is Aya. She's beautiful. And I'm making her a cow shirt. It'll just, I'll show you guys when I'm done. I just do it with my Cricut and then I always write a letter to the cow. So I need to write that. I haven't eaten lunch yet and it's 4.06. So I'm going to go eat lunch now that I'm packed. And um, I bought a lot of stuff at Home Goods, Target, Michaels today. So I just had to put all that away. But now i'm gonna eat and drink more water and pee um i forgot to mention my practice palms are here i said that they're all orange and then we have our multicolor palms just in case we wear our original uniform and then our white palms which i believe is what we'll use but we also have pink palms so that's if they decide to pull those out um so we'll see but we're getting packed and i'm gonna go eat Okay guys, so I forgot to show Aya's shirt that I just made and I already wrapped it up so I honestly don't want to take it out, but it's just a black tee and I cropped it, um, obviously with scissors, and then I just did a B with bangals underneath and I used um, silver glitter vinyl because I had um, a sheet of that and then the date on the arm is also in glitter and same with Aya and then Cal, if you've been watching any of my other game day vlogs you would have seen all the other cow shirts I've made um, for people and it's very similar this one I made for my mom so tomorrow as I've said is the crucial catch game but breast cancer awareness month so we mainly wear pink with like other colors so it's also gonna be 80 degrees at the game we love we don't but you know we're just gonna pretend um so my mom got this little gray tank from TJ Maxx and then um pink we did pink vinyl on hers for the crucial catch game which i think is so cute so it's gray it's one of those yogalicious tanks and then i just did the bengal tiger in pink everyday vinyl from cricket and then i did a black and white cricket um vinyl here because she wanted white but i don't think white would have showed up that well on this really light gray so i put black under it now um so all that's done i put all the cricket stuff away um, my heat press is cooling so i leave it out on the granite um, but it's sitting on this thing if you guys know um i highly recommend this if you're gonna make lots of shirts um so it is now 6 30 and i this is aya's i have her little card her t-shirts in here with the cute little black and orange bag um, i'm gonna take it out to my car um i already or trevor already took out my garment bag and my suitcase and then tomorrow all I do all I have to carry out is that like small bag so I make sure to just like put everything in the car reason being going out the back my mom's gonna be here 
probably in about an hour and a half she went to go get a pedicure she'll probably be here in like an hour and a half to pick up her shirt but she didn't have time to wait for me to finish it just because she had um an app nail appointment but um I put everything in my car the night before so that in the morning it's literally like 5 a.m. when I wake up like all I have to carry out because also I'm wearing a dress and heels and so and I have a lot of stairs in my house so it's just better when all you have to carry out is like a small bag okay so my mom came just like literally 10 minutes ago and picked up her shirt and um, she was here for like a second um, I just went through and just ran all four routines one time through um i do want to like i feel like most of you guys know this but so we have our pregame dance which literally consists of like a lot of stuff put together meaning like the way we walk out of the tunnel is choreographed the way we go back in the tunnel and then we run out with the players and we do player tunnel that's choreographed we stand over at the end zone for national anthem that's of course choreographed like everything is like very choreographed so that we look very in sync and similar um, but our routine is like a routine with a kick line that stays the same every single game now what changes every single game are our three routines um throughout so we have our cow routine and then we have so one happens at the end of let's see at the end of first quarter is cow two minute warning of second quarter is like the second quarter dance and then we go in two minutes before at the two minute warning like we go into the locker room so we get to be in the locker room for a little bit longer and then the two minute warning um of the third quarter and then fourth quarter we don't dance so we dance once before the game and then after pretty much at the end of each quarter besides the fourth quarter so once fourth quarter happens like you get to just like kind of chill watch the game not watch the game but like you're doing routines and little dances on the sidelines at all times anytime the music plays we dance my stanley cup i need to drink more water in general i have not drank much today again my strawberry pedialyte um word here i'm gonna finish this and i'm watching one of rachel's vlogs that she's uploading so we're gonna finish this finish the vlog uh, that i forgot to vlog my dinner um i just showered and rinsed off my entire body and with, with no soap i'll do soap tomorrow morning so i had a little chicken patty obviously veggie chicken patty some pasta that trevor made he said he made the sauce by roasting tomatoes, um, an entire like head of garlic. He put cashews in there. I don't know what else. So that was pasta. And then I had like, um, I didn't eat much of this because it was from yesterday. So the tortilla strips were a little on the soggy side, but it was Trevor's um, salad. Okay, now I'm just going to add dry shampoo. I just... Brush my teeth, floss them, used mouthwash, put my retainers in. Now we're dry shampooing. I honestly should have like probably put more on today, but my plan is to just do that, not even brush it in and just let it soak while I go to bed. So I already washed my face and everything and I, my camera's about to die, but we're gonna go to bed with all this dry shampoo. Teeth are ready, face is ready, and I will see y'all in the morning. Good night. Good morning, I just showered and brushed my hair and brushed my teeth. That's what I meant to say, brushed my teeth. I did brush my hair, but that's not really that important. I'm gonna go down and make coffee. I'm drinking some water. I honestly did not get much sleep. If anybody's wondering, we love that. Um, I don't know what is up with me. I'm thinking that I need to start going to sleep or waking up early on, um, Wait. Okay. I think I need to start waking up 
early on Saturday morning rather than sleeping in. Like I sleep in because I'm like, oh, I want to like be well rested for the weekend, whatever. But I think I need to start getting up earlier because then I can't fall asleep on um, Sunday or Saturday night because I was too rested. The lighting is like absolutely horrible, but that's just how it's gonna have to be. Um, that's how it works when you're getting ready at 5 a.m. It's actually not 5 a.m., it's 6 a.m. Um, but, putting my, camp, my computer here, maybe that'll help because I'm watching a YouTube video. Um, I have my makeup bag ready to add to. I do wanna let you guys know what I have, what I feel like has worked um, in the past, for the past few games, because I didn't do this last year. Um, so that my face doesn't look like cakey and so I like keep my makeup but I'm still able to like reapply a little bit you know for the game after practice because I don't redo my makeup in between some people take off their entire face of makeup in between um or after field practice during like our lunch break they'll like take off their makeup and read it I do not do that um I feel like I wouldn't get time to like sit and chat with my friends and eat lunch like I would I already curl my my hair in that time so I would literally have no time because in that time you also have to make sure you're like dressed and ready and I brush my teeth like all that stuff so I always make sure to put on a bunch of primer that's huge and yes I still pack this even though I know I'm not going to be reusing it I still pack it uh, but what I've been doing is cream products um, I feel like stay on the best so so that I have like a lighter makeup in the morning but I still have something to reapply later I do my cream contour from Charlotte Tilbury and my cream blush from Charlotte Tilbury and that's it for contour and then during my break I put powder blush and bronzer on top of it so I like look more like stage ready and that I'm able to reapply something that I look more fresh um, I don't know I just feel like that's the good way to do it because you also don't want to put this on top of like powder products I don't feel like it would blend that well so that's that we're just gonna move on and put on my foundation okay so i just got done doing like all the cream products okay next i put on um a lip just to walk in some earrings i'll obviously put on studs and the bright pink lip this is my dress it's so cute it's nude with like pink flowers this little thing it's like all layered and then i'm on target heels you guys literally can't see it but it's so cute thought it was perfect for the weather today because it's a f really warm fall day Ugh, I have hair in my mouth but I feel like it's adorable and I wish you guys could see it better but this is what it looks like let's see if I can show you guys from over here he is made well it's a latte I prepped it last night my food is in my stainless steel little thing I'm gonna put it in this bag and we're gonna go guys so I'm in the garage now um, and I'm taking off my jacket it's really not that cold look it feels pretty darn good um, obviously we get free parking so I'm just in that garage that our parking pass works in and it's it's not the quickest walk but it's also not the longest walk I cannot get this off okay so 
it's not bad to walk to so taking this off um i have my coffee and i haven't finished it yet i honestly like i don't i don't really want my coffee if i'm being honest so I can't decide what I want to do. I'm going to put my little bag in here and then I'll just leave my keys out because it has my ID and I need my ID. My lashes don't look as good as last game when I wore these. These kind of look just like a little weird, but what can you do? This is my cup. It's super cute. It says my name on it. It says Bengals on it. I got it. Somebody made it for me. I like obviously paid for it, but um, I don't know, a bunch of girls got them on our team. So I'm just gonna, I wish I had the lid, but I'm gonna walk in with it, cause why not? Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna walk in. Um, I don't know if you guys can kind of see. So here's obviously the stadium. We like walk up to there, which is security. And yeah, look at my dress. It's so cute, I'm upset. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Cute. I like the top. <laughs> Thank you. 